G'day everyone, it's Armin the Parman. This is a quick video on how to use GPG using a Windows machine. It doesn't come with Windows, so you've got to download it. You first type GPG for Win and click this one. Click download. You can choose zero dollars and then press download. So I've already got the file, so I won't download it. Next open your downloads folder and double click the file and it will download next and if there's any of these un uh, tick just untick them and just have the first one and install in the default location i'll pause it here Okay, I've unpaused the video, the file, the program has been installed. And click next. Alright, um, next thing to do is to go to your browser and download Electrum. So you type Electrum, oops, electrum.org, and then click download and click on this executable and then click save i've already got the file so i won't then click the corresponding signature right click save as and save then scroll down and find thomas's key and download that right click save as again i've got it so i won't Right, and then you can close your browser and open command. We've got three files that we've downloaded in the downloads folder. So first go to the downloads folder by typing CD for change directory. Start typing downloads and then hit tab and it'll auto complete. And first thing to do is import Thomas's key into our key ring. You type GPG space double dash in the import option. And then Thomas's file name, key, key's file name was T-H-O and then auto complete it. And then it says Thomas key imported. Next is the verify connect, command, double dash verify. We put the name of the key, the elect, sorry, the signature, start typing it and then auto complete. And then hit tab again for the second option and space and start typing Electrum again and hit tab so here we've got the first file which is the signature and the second file is the um, this, the software that we downloaded and hit enter it thinks a bit and then it should say good signature it is from Thomas so now we're satisfied and you can ignore the warning that's for advanced users. And that's it. We have now confirmed that we've got a safe software to use.